Hi there. Do you know that the great Apostle Paul had many unanswered prayer, prayers, many unanswered prayers. So he prayed or desired many things that never came to pass. I'll share just about three of them with you right now. Um, first of all, he had a desire for Israel to be saved in his lifetime. Great desire for Israel to be saved. But he never saw it come to pass. And that was a good desire. It was not a materialistic or covetous desire where he was praying for more money or more houses or more connections. No. But it was never answered. That's the first one. You can just read that in Romans chapter 9. Then the second one, of course, he had this thorn in his flesh, a messenger of Satan that was sent to buffet him. And he prayed not once but three times that it may be taken away. But God did not answer that prayer. Rather, God said to him, my grace is sufficient for thee. And then you remember when he was going to go on a missionary journey, he said, we desire to come and see you, but Satan hindered us. I don't think Apostle Paul would determine to embark on a missionary journey without prayer. But still with prayer and everything, Satan hindered them. So have you prayed or do you look at your Christian life and you have unanswered prayers? It's not a factor for you to despair over. Yes, you may have unanswered prayers, but why? If you look at those three prayers, the common denominator was that it was not the will of God. It was not the will of God for Israel to be saved at that time. And as Pastor Paul explains why in Romans chapter 9, you just have to go and study that passage in as many translations as possible. The second prayer point, he said that it was not the will of God for that thorn in his flesh to go because he said, lest he be exalted above measure because of the abundance of revelations and visions. So God allowed it to keep him humble. It was not the will of God for the thorn to be taken away. The third prayer, I don't think it was the will of God for him to go to that place at that time, at that time, on that missionary journey at that time, where the missionary journey where he was hindered by the devil. So do you have prayers that are not answered? You need to check, is it the will of God? Go deeper in prayer, attain more sensitivity, be more consistent and find out, Father, is this the will of God for me? Remember, you don't know the end from the beginning, but God knows the end from the beginning. And please remember, he loves you more than you love yourself. He loves you more than you can ever imagine. And remember, Jesus, God that did not withhold Jesus from us, will he not freely give us all things? So have this mind in you and take comfort and press on on your Christian journey. Do not despair. Do not lose hope. Do not be cast down. Hmm? But rather, quit you like men. Be strong. I hope this works well for you. Kemi sends her love. Do have an amazing day and bye for now.